Hello everyone, uh, Game Dog here, and welcome to another game I found in the uh, the Sage 2022 trailer that looks super interesting that I want to try. I've actually seen clips of this one on Twitter before because um, some people I know are friends with this developer. Uh, this is Bun and Gun by Sharb. Um, that is how you say it, right? Yeah, just Sharb, very simple name. Uh, it's like a 3D platform where you play as a rabbit. Uh, my Steam controller doesn't seem to be working. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, hold on. I guess I'll have to play this one with keyboard, too. I don't know why, but a lot of these games just aren't working with my controller for whatever reason. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Oh, you, you have to, like... What? Oh, this play is very different from a lot of stuff I'm used to. Great start. <laughs> okay, this feels like a game of a steep learning curve. The momentum is really strong with this character. Oh wow, I wasn't even in your like full run yet. You go into like a hopping animation once you are. Okay. Grapple, Q and E. Control recommended. <laughs> wow, funny you say that. Uh. Oh my god. Oh, this is crazy. Uh uh, oh. You can fast fall with that. Oh my god, this looks so cool. Uh, there are three levels to this uh, to this demo. Uh, the first one, you gotta like collect a bunch of bats. The second one is just like an obstacle course. Oh my god, okay, I guess I was meant to go this way. This is really... Oh, shoot these bats to slow them down. Uh, Bev will point you to the rest. I'm assuming that's the thing following me. Oh. There we go. Okay, so this way. Oh, no, no, no. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my god. There was like a game I played on Newgrounds all the time as a kid that had momentum like this and it was very like satisfying to just kind of- like the grappling is just fun. Like I don't care if the game has a goal or not, like it's just fun to grapple on stuff, you know? Okay, you're pointing up there, so I gotta find a way up there somehow. Does this character have a wall jump? Uh, no, but you can just straight up run up a wall. Oh god, oh god. I, I gotta say, I love this character design, too. Run and Bun is too clever of a name for any video game. <laughs> ah, okay, that, that, that's a way to do it. It's weird, it's like fluid tank controls. That's the, the best way I can describe it. Okay, I think, uh... There's like a range on the grappling hook that I gotta get used to. Oh, that's a little jank. Okay, there we go. Wait, can I? <gasps> oh, that's cool! Okay, it looks like you can just grapple from the bottom side and, like, grapple up to the top. I still gotta get on top of this thing. That's clearly where the next, uh, the next bat is. Oh, this is gonna take an embarrassingly long time to actually get up here, though. Oh, god. <laughs> I actually am, like, kinda... My hands were kinda hurting already. Like, this game very is clearly meant for controller, but mine just isn't working for whatever reason. Okay, let's see if I can do this again. It seems like you don't have to aim, at least when you're using the grappling hook. There we go. Oh, where'd you go? Oh no, don't, don't like fly back up, please. There we go. Okay, now where are you pointing? This way. Oh. 
You know, I've done a few videos on, like, games in this expo so far, but I don't actually think I've explained what Sage is yet. Because, like, you know, most of my audience are super used to, like, RPG Maker stuff. <laughs> uh, Sage, I think the story behind Sage... I know a couple people who run it, like, just some good friends of mine. I think the story behind Sage is, like, it started... It stands for, like, Sonic... Like, Sonic amateur games expo i think and it started as like as like a um as like a celebration of like sonic fan games or just a way to like show a bunch of those off but like this thing has been running for quite a while and nowadays it's more just like a showcase event for like indie games in general most of which have sonic influence and i grew up with sonic so i can always get behind oh my god this is tough uh <laughs> there we go how do i get up top here I, get in, I think I gotta get in here somehow. Oh, okay, okay, I probably have to run up this way. The geometry in this game is kind of insane. I've never played a platformer that, like, had you run across stuff like this before. Oh my god. Okay, now where to? Is that pixel over there what I'm looking for? <laughs> I love this character design. I gotta play around with this more, too. You actually go into, like, a Sonic-like spin when I do it. Oh, I was too far away. Uh, do I start all the way- oh god, I start all the way back here. Oh, you can shoot while running. That's probably how you're meant to use the ball form. Okay. To, like, maintain momentum easier. I guess it kind of... I'm hoping, or I'm guessing it kind of works similar to Sonic's ball form, where, like, if you, uh... If you go into it, you kind of, like, can go uphill and lose momentum, or downhill and gain momentum. Ah, oh, too far. Dude, this is kind of tough. <laughs> I'm just not used to these types of games. Ah. The only issue I really have with the controls, honestly, is, like, the character is really slippery in close quarters. That's kind of a that's kind of like a like an upside downside kind of thing though, because like in a game like this where you're running across geometry this wide and this vast, you kind of need a fast run speed. But a fast run speed can also make like close quarter stuff kind of frustrating. Uh oh. Oh, can I just like run up here? Okay, I guess that's an easier way up here, so maybe I can get to that geometry, uh, from below. Uh-oh. There we go. <laughs> what is this music? It's insane. <laughs> uh oh. I wish there were like checkpoints too. I, honestly, this game or this um. According to the the uh, the S, um, the uh, the page for the game, it says that like the point of this demo is more so to just like gauge interest. 
I, honestly, consider me interested. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. Here we go. And yeah, I was right. That one pixel is just one of these guys. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now we gotta go back that way. I gotta say, one criticism I do have is that the gun doesn't necessarily feel impactful. Where are we going? Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, does this send me back? That sends me up here. You're pointing that way, though. Oh, I gotta go through that bit of geometry, don't I? Wait. I just realized you're using your ears as grappling hooks. <laughs> as someone who mostly works with RPG Maker stuff, I don't understand how people can, like, physically make games that control this smoothly, you know? <laughs> Would this help me get closer? Oh my god! I don't see you, so I'm guessing you're pointing downwards. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. Well, I didn't really help, honestly. Seems like you're pointing- you're pointing that way. What's over there? There's geometry I can knock into over there. This kind of looks like a bunch of random rock formations up here. Although maybe this might be a, uh, maybe the goal is for me to like play around with uh, grapple hook mechanics. Oh, I think this is the goal of this place. I gotta say, the grapple hook, for having, like, no lock-on or, like, no easy way to, like... It seems to, like, just automatically know exactly what I want to lock on to with the grapple hook. Typically when I play a game of a grapple hook, what ends up happening is, like, I have to, like, stop for a second to, like, aim it. This game, though, it, it it's, like, all automatic. Oh god, that was not a good start. Ah. I mean, grapple hooks are a staple in video games, but I'm not really super used to these sorts of mechanics. <laughs> Just because of the sorts of games I play. This feels like one of the easier ones to get used to, though. Oh my god, oh my god. Uh, helps that it's super lenient. God, does that not hurt, dude? Like... <laughs> Okay, hold on. If I hold the button, it doesn't look like it, your ear can, like, break or something. Oh, God. I had that! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hold on. <laughs> uh. Okay, I just need to, like... Can the camera move, please? Uh... Okay. Nope, that didn't quite work. Uh, honestly, that seemed possible for my position, but I think given my skill level, I should just, like, know my place and just start over. <laughs> God, this is wild. You can grapple and roll at the same time. I wonder if that has any utility of any sort. Oh, 
Uh, I need something. Oh no. Why do I keep facing the wrong way when I start that? <laughs> or like turning the wrong way? Oh, right here. Uh, please be far enough. There we go. Alright, now if you're not here, there you are. Nice, okay. Ah, oh, they time you. They probably want you to speedrun this. Uh, press start to go to the menu. Okay, there we go. The next one is Swing Course. Um, now, according to the game page, this is more of an obstacle course of a single bat at the very end. I thought my partner was the bat. <laughs> oh, it's more grapple hook swimming. Okay, then. I can tell the devil loves this mechanic. <laughs> oh, wait a second. What happens if I go in here? Ah, uh, okay. Death perception kind of screwed me over there, I think. What was the start of that? Oh, okay. I didn't jump off, but I recovered. Here, here. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. There's like a ring just down here. Ah, shortcut! Uh, um... I couldn't jump there. Oh! There we go. I hope I'm going the right way. Uh, uh this'll take me the right way. Or will it? Nope. Okay, I just, oh, I just didn't fall into in the right way. I gotta say, I wish it was easier to, like, tell, like... I, I feel like I'm aiming at the ring sometimes, but like there I like I'm nowhere near them if that makes sense. I kinda feel safest like going up top. <laughs> oh. Uh Where am I going? I feel like I should be using these rings even if I don't necessarily trust them, so to say. Because <laughs> they can probably just, it'll just launch me in the right direction regardless of how I'm going, because I'm not sure if I'm going the right way here or not. <laughs> am I going backwards? It's fun just to swing around, so like, I guess it's not a big deal. I was going the wrong way, okay. Uh, let's try to get in the rings just to make sure I'm going the right way. Oh. I don't know 
why, but I get like DDR vibes from this music too. I really like this song, whatever this is. Oh god, okay, I am completely disoriented. Uh Wow, okay. This is one way to do it. Uh... Okay, I can stand here. There we go. Back up top. Is that the end? I think that might be the end. Huh, okay, I think I like the other stage better, personally. <laughs> uh, the grappling is fun, but like, it, the fact that there was like no checkpoint, it just seemed to like go on a little bit too long, too. Some of the hitboxes or like the depth perception on getting to those rings is a little frustrating as well. Yeah, whatever. Okay, 2D demo. Let's see what this one is. Oh, like 2D segments. Okay. Oh, I gotta collect those. Can I use my grapple here, too? I probably need to be, like, above something. Or below something that is grappleable. Oh, yep, definitely. Oh, wait. Uh, that was a good time to use that. Hold on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, yes. Oh, you can crap on the two points at once? I, that is really hard to do on keyboard. I gotta get controller working with this game. <laughs> uh, oh, those are spikes. Did I hit the spike but not die? Dude, two grapple points. That's gotta be... There's gotta be some tech you can do with that. Oh! Wait, wait, I got, I got an idea. Hold on. Ah, I tried. Oh, they don't actually kill you. <laughs> Wait, what? Landing on them in ball form kills you, but jumping on them don't? Okay. Uh, 
Oh, this is a downhill road. There we go. Oh, can this, like, lead me to, like, a plate? Ah, okay. Little shortcuts. Okay, now get out of ball form, because you're going uphill. I gotta say, this is fun. <laughs> Uh, this part is a little tricky, though. Thing is, I'm not quite sure what they want me to do here. I'm trying to do a tight grapple, if that makes sense. Do I have a hit point meter and just don't realize it? I Is that what the 100% is? I always assumed that was like for something else. There's not really an animation for when you take damage or anything, so... <laughs> oh, wait, wait, go back, go back. Oh, okay, I am taking damage when I land on the spikes. Let me try something. Oh, is that boosting my momentum? Ah, okay, okay, that makes sense. I feel like that should probably be tutorialized. <laughs> That's kind of technical. Oh, this looks fun. We. <laughs> uh, what? Was that the end of the stage? Okay, I'm assuming that was the end of the stage. Ah, uh, okay. Wow, that was that was Bun and Gun. I really like this game. <laughs> It's Like, any game like this, like, I can tell it's good when it's just fun to, like, run around, and it certainly is just fun to run around in this game. <laughs> I love some of the geometry. I gotta say, my personal favorite is probably this stage. The second one is probably my least favorite, because it just seemed like a lot of the same type of platforming for way too long with no checkpoints or anything. And then, like, the, uh, the, uh, the 2D one is, like, a close second. I, I, I like this a lot. Like, this is really cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, that was, that was Bun and Gun by Sharp. Uh, I enjoyed this quite a bit. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you folks later. Thanks for watching.